All right, I got the limited editions. All right, it's Friday and I wanted to start this video before I take a shower so that I can go ahead and use one of these three bars and try to get this video done and uploaded by Sunday or Monday. So I just recently tried the black stuff for the first time and I think it's really good, especially the ingredients. I just uploaded my first impressions review of the black stuff soaps a couple hours ago. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link on the outro. So I got all 10 soaps on the Black Stuff website, but the three limited edition bars were all sold out. So shout out to Cody Condiff on Facebook for selling me these three limited edition bars. If you're looking to buy some bars online, he's a trustworthy seller. I found them in one of the private Facebook groups that talk about and deal soap. And there are a slew of other trustworthy sellers and buyers in these groups as well. Just be sure to get some references before dealing with one to make sure you're not dealing with a scammer. You can look up some of these Facebook soap groups for yourself and see if you want to join any of them. I will actually be starting one in the near future where the focus will be on soap reviews and recommendations. So hopefully it will become a good source for people to find the soaps they're looking for. So when I and other YouTubers drop a new soap review, they can post it in my group. All right, that's enough talk. Let's get to these limited edition soaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and give each of these a sniff test and I can tell you just from holding these up from a distance, I can tell they already smell good. I have not smelled these yet. This will be my honest first impression. And then after giving them the sniff test, I'm gonna pause this video. And over the next two to three days, I will test each one in the shower and then resume the video and let you know what I think after using them. So we've got the Shamrock Saint. What's your poison? And of course, Relax the Cax, which is extremely popular. And it was just re-released on the website yesterday, and they dropped a Relax the Cax deodorant as well. But it seems like these are selling fast, so by the time I upload this video in two to three days from now, they may be sold out. But you can check for yourself and see if they're still in stock. I'll leave a link to the Black Stuff website in the description. Alright, so because the Relax the Cax bar is so popular, it has raised my expectations sky high. So, I'm going to give the Relax the Cax Bar the sniff test first. Yeah, this one smells really good. It's like there's an orange scent, a mint scent, and almost kind of like an amber scent. So it says on the box that this is low grit and features honey, rosemary, and menthol crystals. After smelling the bar out of the box, I don't like it quite as much as I did when I first sniffed it in the box. And I think that's because when it was in the box, I didn't detect the orange. I just smelled the undertones of, I guess, the, the honey scent, which is really good. But when I pull it out, then it's dominated by the orange. It's not bad. It's just that I don't like it as much as I did when it was actually in the package. Because the package covered the orange scent. I didn't even detect any orange scent. But now... The orange scent is about all I smell. But like I said on all the other videos, you can see the ingredients are really good in here. And to me, that has been the biggest strong point from the black stuff. The ingredients more than the scents. And I'm sure when I use this in the shower, it'll perform well because the ingredients in all of these bars are really good. All right, on to the next one, the Shamrock Saint. Go ahead and give it the sniff test. Okay, this one smells pretty good, but I have a feeling that it's gonna smell a lot different when I pull it out of the package. This is a very subtle scent. It smells like lime. Let me go ahead and 
see if it smells any different when I pull it out. Show it to you, what it looks like. Yeah, this is a very plain bar. You don't see much in there, but the texture is really good, so you know that the ingredients are in there. Okay, yeah, this one smells different than it did in the package. I do still detect lime. It's almost like I smell wood with it. Like lime and wood. <laughs> At least that's my first impression. And maybe some type of some type of liquor. So my first impression is lime, wood, and liquor. Let's look at the box and see what the package says. All right, so this one is also low grit, and it says silk, honey, and goat's milk. So apparently I was way off. <laughs> but it does say a masculine lemon and lime, so I was right about the lime. Sorry my camera doesn't focus better so that you can read the text better. All right, so I can now detect the honey a little bit. But it also smells like there's some kind of liquor in here. I don't know if it's bourbon or whiskey or what, but it definitely smells like some kind of liquor. All right, and last and maybe not least, I guess we'll find out if it's least or not. What's your poison? Go ahead and give it the sniff test. This one smells good out of the box, but we'll see if it smells different out of the package. Yeah, it definitely smells different. It smells kind of piney, almost like a pine tar. It smells good though, I like it. And this one definitely, it feels grittier than the other two. The other two were low grit. This one is actually roughest feel. So this one is one of their grittiest bars. And it says beer, cider, and pine tar. So I was right about that. And if you could read the text better, it says underneath that, smoky, manly with a hint of danger. So let me see if I can detect this smoky scent. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's in there. So pine tar and smoke. And it says there's beer and cedar in here. I'm not really picking up on the beer. And the cedar is always so subtle, you can never really pick up on that. I don't really get the beer. I smell the pine tar for sure, and I get a subtle scent of the smoke, but not really beer. It also smells a tad grassy to me. I just noticed that I got these stickers with them. I will sell each one of these stickers for $25 a piece plus $10 shipping and handling, or you can buy the bundle for $50 and $15 shipping and handling. But I advise you to hurry up and act quickly because these are going fast. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and over the next two to three days, I'm gonna test all three of these bars in the shower and then come back and let you know what I think. Be right back. All right, I'm back. It's Sunday and I've now used all three bars. They're all very different, but very good in their own right. First, relax the cacks. This is a very complex bar as the scents seem to like take turns dominating the bar depending on the current condition of the bar. It seems like this bar goes through stages. Out of the package, the orange scent dominated the bar. Then while showering, the icy menthols dominated the bar. And now that the bar has dried, the honey scent dominates the bar. At the same time, you can still detect all three scents at any time, but depending which stage the bar is in will determine which scent will dominate the bar. I first thought this was an orange bar, then an icy menthol bar, and now I think it's a honey bar. 
but I can still smell the icy menthol with the honey pretty strongly and I can also still smell an undertone of orange. So this is a very interesting bar. I've heard multiple people in the soap groups rave about how it's their favorite bar of all time. And while it may not be one of my personal favorites, I can definitely see the appeal of it and why so many people do love it. The reason I don't love it more is because I'm not crazy about orange or icy menthol scents. But I do really like the honey scent here and if it was combined with another scent that I liked more, then this would definitely be one of my favorite bars. But nonetheless, I really appreciate the creativity of this bar and while it may not be one of my personal favorites, it's still an awesome bar to shower with just based on these ingredients alone. Next, I used What's Your Poison, and the scent on this one altered in the shower as well. When smelling it out of the box, it smelled like pine tar with a very faint, smoky undertone. But when using it in the shower, the smoky scent became much stronger and blended with the pine tar. Now, it smells like smoky pine tar, which I think is very creative and works well. And I can slightly detect a very subtle note of beer that is buried under the smoky pine tar. Smoky scents can be really good when they're done right, but if they're done wrong, they can be some of the worst scents you'll ever smell. Like smoke and clove from Bearsville, truly one of the worst scents I've ever had the displeasure of smelling. It didn't smell like smoke and clove, it smelled like smoke and dill pickle. Not a good combination just horrendous but this smoke and pine tar actually smells really good together another creative bar from the black stuff also this is a very gritty bar and really exfoliates the skin and you don't want to over exfoliate your skin so only use a heavy grit bar like this every three to four days so what you want to do is use one of these bars, the low grit bars, on days in between the heavy grit bars. Which brings us to the last bar of the limited editions, the Shamrock Saint. Now this one is very smooth. It smells like lime with an undertone of honey. And it has goat's milk so it feels really good on your skin in the shower. Aesthetically, it's a pretty plain bar, not much to it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just very simple. But it makes up for it with the high quality of ingredients in here. You, <laughs> you just can't see them very well. But nonetheless, it's a really good bar. So I just went to the Black Stuff website and saw that the Relax the Cax is still available. And so I picked up the deodorant as well as the Mountain Irish Rain and the Bay Rum. To add to the deodorants, Mr. Black Stuff added to my previous order. So I will now have all five of the Black Stuff deodorants. Should I make a video ranking all five of them? Let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see. So I now have all 13 of the Black Stuff soaps and I've had a chance to test seven of them out in the shower. And when I get a chance to test the other six out, I'll make a rankings video and let you know where I think each soap ranks in the catalog. On a positive note, none of the 13 are bad. Some of the scents I didn't care for as much as others, but the ingredients always made up for any other area that a bar may be lacking in. So be on the lookout for that rankings video in the near future. All right, so that's about it for this review. If you've tried any of these limited editions, let us know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.